what is up everybody of earth it is me okay special aka this is not mikey reporting from immortals inc studios with the one and only this is josh miller and he's my homie from another globy so um and i just jumped out of a dumpster fire so what's up ah uh, you're all right sometimes you could tell you did not prepare for the stream you could tell yeah no sometimes. way I'm sure that I, you could tell sometimes when I am not prepared either, though. Because usually you're sitting back like this. Like, are you are you prepared when you're sitting back like this? Like a beached whale? No. Like I'm when not. you're ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I won't do that anymore. That's why I'm sitting forward. I'm very content and intently. Whoa. Did you guys see that? That's the power. Listening. Of but today, guys, we wanted to obviously go back to our normal scheduled program. If you enjoy that Halloween episode, you'll enjoy this one in the past nine, right? Wow. That this was is big. episode 11. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah. So for us. today we wanted to uh, show some of the hits from the Halloween trick or no treat. Trick Wait, no treat. It was trick no treat or no treat. I don't know. Just trick no treat. Um, it was a set of 14, I believe, or 16. Do It'll say believe, on the corner. Do you believe in trick or treat? Like the actual thing of doing trick or treating in general, you mean? Like the whole vibe behind it. Like you open it, you don't know if you're getting tricked or treated? No. Yeah, I mean, do you know how that originated? No, but I do love it. Halloween's my favorite holiday. So it originated back, I think, in 1784 uh, when they first started the tradition of Halloween. People would go around and they would put novelty tricks and you know people's bags and they were things novelty tricks like what those like uh wax lips and stuff no like i'm talking like balls filled with glue and like mouse traps and like you know this that started the origination of trick-or-treating and you had to ask them trick-or-treat i made that up did you really yeah that was smart i fell for it how'd you like trick no treat this year or just, you know, the Halloween cards this uh, year. Not honest. my favorite set. Give me honest Josh Miller opinion. I right? am. Honestly, not as good as last year's Halloween set, in my opinion. Um, I do like that it was harder to hit those chases for most. It's uh, a lot less common to hit hollows. I like that. I like that you have to chase it, basically. Um, how many is in the set? I think it was 14. It was 14. 16, 14. 14. Small set, like usual, but I like that. I do like my favorite part about it is that they did the um, reverse hollows of previous set cards that um, like the peach ring. The Piazza Bird peach ring was only in full hollow. You can get it in reverse for this set. Like I like that they did that stuff. I like that it came with a mask. I do like that. Ooh, I got the Momo mask. I got the Mothman thanks to GQ. What? Um, and I got the, I personally got the Indrid and the Momo. So I have the three masks. Dude, I know GQ pulled two moths. GQ's the man. So, guys, what I wanted to do was show you a couple of my hits. I bought one, as you know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. I pulled the Momo mask, and inside of these, these are all playable cards, by the way. Every single one of these cards are playable, and they're actually interesting. Don't, you, don't they remind you of... Uh... <laughs> Obviously, we don't play any other trading card game or collect Correct. yeah but with magic they have like those unsets like member mm, infinity yeah. recently yeah this gives me the same vibe because you can play the card still but you know it's, it's contrasted in that way but in this way it's actually playable in the sense that um i know, really like the set like i said but it's not as good as last year's halloween in my opinion there are pros and cons actually so maybe it's about the same because you didn't get a free mask last year that card's cr great this is my personal favorite, probably my best pool I had from this. I know that Josh actually pulled a crazy insane pool. What was that card called? So I could put it up on here. It's the Terra card. T-E-R-R-A. Gee, that helps. It's the Halloween, Halloween Terra card. Nice. Check that out. It but check beautiful. this out. I'm sure you guys have ran across your fair share of these. Activated Frogman masks. So what they do with this set, they added a couple of well-known beasties and gave them their own kind of mask card which is uh an artifact these are all artifacts this one says that you must be wearing a mask to contract this page you have to wear a mask to even use this card if you're wearing a frog costume once per game you may reveal your chapter and bookmark pages equal to the number of pages with the tribe costume revealed this way 
It's a good play. It's a good card to play. Uh, I don't have that mask, though. I would love to have the Frogman and the Lechuza. Those are the masks it could be that any I'm mask. missing. I'm missing those two is what I'm saying. I'm missing those two actual masks. I would love to complete the set for real. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Not and the cards, but the actual masks. I'm sh- uh, they're probably wondering why did they put the Seance set logo with these. Do you have an answer for that? Because it came out and during the seance set, they had Nightfall stamps because it was around the same time as when Nightfall dropped. <laughs> yeah. Another activated mask that I had, which was also a good pull, is the Indrid Cold mask. Um, if you could see, like, right there, there's actually the Halloween. Oh, right there. Sorry. Right there, there's the Halloween symbol, which uh, it says, like, what, MetaZoo? It says yeah. MetaZoo 2022. Yeah. Why don't you pull up that photo you sent me yesterday? Oh, that's big. That's a secret. We have a secret to show you guys that might be something you're just now learning or seeing like I did yesterday. MetaZoo Christmas pin club. Sheesh. Guys, MetaZoo Christmas pin clubs. Look at that ding bell. Sheesh Louises. Uh, That's all I can show you because that's all I know about it so far. And now you guys know. Breaking news. We don't know what else they're doing, if they're doing anything else. Probably a Santa. I would imagine there'll be a Santa one. Mm -hmm. Probably an Abominable Snowman, because there was that card. The Whatnot streamer spotlight for this week, drumroll, right, is none other than MetaZoo Crew. Yo, MetaZoo Crew. Appreciate everything you do. Love you, brother. You are the GOAT. You are the grandfather you are my Obi-Wan Kenobi, if you will. Thank Whoa, you for teaching me. Seriously, thank you for teaching me some of the things that maybe I wouldn't have done a certain way on whatnot. You are a true whatnot spotlight. And I can't thank you for being a part of the community more. You're the best. And you deserve it. You just got um, partnership. Well deserved, my friend. Class. So let's give it up. Metazoo crew. Thank you, my friend. Also, if he's Obi-Wan, you're Obi-Wan. Who, who are you if he's your Obi-Wan? Uh, Luke. So who am I then if you're Luke? Who am yeah. I? <laughs> Jar Jar Binks. That's worse. You're Jar Jar. All right, that was bad. Uh, you're Darth Maul. That's that, bad that makes too. No you sense. die in the that first. That makes no sense. Honestly, it's all right. Anyways. Yoda. No. Anyways. He's Yoda. Anyways. Metazoo crew, you're actually Yoda. My bad. Horrible. Better. Horrible. Better. I don't know if I should just scratch that whole thing. Ready? Hear, hear me out. Yoda, MetaZoo crew, Obi-Wan Kenobi, me, you, Luke Skywalker. Whoa, that's big. Better? <laughs> Guys, I want to thank you so much for rocking with us as always. This is Josh Miller. This is right Josh here. Miller, and that's OK Special. His name's not really Mikey, but it's OK Special. Find us both. Uh, what not? Immortals Inc. Both. Find us there. Happy MetaZoo Monday, episode 11. Thank you. Peace. Immortals underscore Inc. Peace. Love.